hair that is wearing glasses and has a white neck. That young man wearing glasses, standing. To, yes, that young man. How are you? I'm good now, sir. Eh? I'm good now. Are you, sir? I'm good. What is what is happening to your what happened to your studies? What is happening to your studies? Um. So so basically, um, I'm planning to change my courses next year. I'm in university now. Yes, because I see you dropping out from where you are. I see you leaving where you are. Like you dropped out. Yes, sir. Not basically, I want to change. No, I saw you drop out. That's why I'm asking you what is happening to your studies. What is happening? The enemies are fighting you, that place. Serious war. Because they, they have seen where you are going. That's so true. there's a problem. I don't know. Are you coming here for the first time? Uh, no, 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 not particularly. So. When, when was the first time you come to this church? Uh, 2019. 2019. Oh, you were here 2019. Yes, okay. Yes, Good. You were here 2019. The Lord want to, the Lord want to repeat it alive. You understand? The Lord want to revisit your life, but the enemies are fighting seriously against the will of God for you. So this prayer of rewriting your history, Say, Lord, rewrite my history. You see, the Colossians chapter 3, chapter 2, verse number 14 and 15 is for you. He said, he blocked out the transgression, the handwriting of the enemies, which was contrary to his plan. Power alive. The enemies want to destroy your career because they know where you are going. But they cannot succeed. And I want to encourage you to draw yourself close to God. I want to encourage you to draw yourself close to God. I see your parents. One is the other side, another one the other side. I don't know what's happening in your family. You understand? We need to pray. We need to pray. Eh? What happened to your parents? Um, my father died when I was five years old. And it I... was very far. That's what I said. I said one of one of them is far. The other one is the other place far. Yes. You understand? The yes. other one is the other side. So there's a trouble. Your mother is a good woman. She's a very hard-working woman. That's true. Very hard-working. And she wants to see you succeed in life. That's true. She cried because, because of you. She has gone through a lot of challenges. Name calling and all manner of things. It has happened to your mother. And that has brought a very bad experience to her. You know? Even your grandmother. You know, there's been a, a serious problem in the family. That your grandmother is... Yes, yes. Who is that sister? Who are you, ma? She's the grandmother, sir. Good morning. Son. The grandmother, prophet. Yes. I'm the you one have gone through a in. lot of challenge to this, through this boy. You are fighting for this boy to succeed. Because you know what, how the mother carried this boy. What the mother went through after the father gave birth to him. You know? Yes? He is coming from Cape Town. He registered from here to the University of Cape Town, Net Peninsula. So he had so many challenges there, problems. He went as somebody who's going to do medicine, prophet. But mm. when he arrived there, they've changed the, the curriculum for him. Uh. They, they, they give him the other course, not the uh. medicine line. Yeah. So I said to him, he must go back there to that school because... Is complaining of the corruption and where he was in that race. He was staying with uh, dirty people who are taking uh, cigarettes. Yeah, they are taking that. Yeah. Yes. So this is what I say. He has a bright future. But the enemy saw him from birth. They want him to go through all these challenges. So, right now, Mama, thank you. Mama, thank you. Go back to Mama. I want to thank you for bringing him. I want to thank you for thinking about him. Yes. I want to thank you. Yes, I okay. even wash his clothes were dirty. I have to remove him all the clothes and wash them. They were stinking. You see? So no, the thing is that, that he began to live the life those people live. Yes. You know, when you live with swine, you become swine. 
If you live with a pig, you become you live like a pig. So that is it. You know, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. I don't know this young man, but immediately I come online and look at this young man. The Lord began to minister to me. I went into the realm of the spirits to check this young man. And I realized how they tried to tie his destiny. They tried to hang him, you know, so that he don't succeed. And he doesn't talk. Instead of him to complain immediately and move out, he still be, he, he was there. You know, so the Lord who locates him will deliver him. Okay? But I want to thank you for remembering God and bringing back to God. Okay? Yes, you have gone through your own pain. You have gone through your own pain. There's also a lot of attack on you. Many medications. You take this medication, you take this, you try this, you try that. You know? Sometimes even to stand up is a problem to you. You can't stand because of what is happening to you. You don't even know which one to think about. You know? So, but our God is a great God. Our God is the healer. Our God is deliverer. Our God is the restorer. You see what is happening to the hip? The hip. The hip. Even me, prophet, I went back to the operation again for the third time of the hip yes. replacement because it keep on dislocating. Yeah, the dislocating. Yes, they were today, supposed to if it's okay today, it, they were tomorrow it will shift again. Yeah, they've done it last year in August. They were supposed to do it in, during the COVID in 2020, so the doctor said I must hold on until the uh, COVID problem is clear. So they've done it in August. So me too, I came for that uh, deliverance. But I was praying with you through the YouTube and uh, Facebook. Yes, even when I come where from the, theater, where, where I do you stay? Can you remove your cap? I don't see your face because I cannot remember you. Sorry, I know your, your, head, is very, your head is very... Now, don't worry, we are all young, you know? Don't worry, don't worry, well. you're beautiful. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm trying to re remember you because for a long time too, I don't see you. I remember I see you many years back when after we prayed about your hip operation, yes. you walked. Then after you walk, you come back. You were feeling pain. I remember. Yes, prophet. Thank you, prophet. Thank you, Lord. I did pray for you, isn't it? Where is the mother of that child? at work right now. She's at work. Yes. Yeah, she said, said walks too hard. She, she loved the she she loved the son. She took eh? she took she took his clothes a day before yesterday to go to her younger sister at Vet Boji. So I was uh, not uh, happy about that. So I told him he was asking me for the money for the transport. I said to him, I don't have money to give you to go to Vetboji, I want you to come to Shakaina. I have money to come to Shakaina so that you can get deliverance. Amen. It's your prayer that locates him. You can see how many people that are there. The first person I call is him and begin to talk about his problem. So God love him and thank you for praying that prayer. You say, I don't have money to give you to go somewhere else, but I have money to give you to come to God. Because it's only God that has a solution to your trouble. It's only God that has a solution. The way out is in God. So thank you so much. And because of that, because of this boy, you are healed. I remove that hip problem. That hip operation, that thing they put on your hip, I remove it today in the name, remove, of Jesus Christ. name of Jesus Christ. Say, I am healed. I'm healed in Jesus' mighty name. Say, I am delivered. I'm delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Say, I am restored. I'm restored in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's it. That's it. You, you remove your shoe. Remove your shoe. I didn't say drop your... No, no, don't drop that one. Don't drop that one. Don't drop that one. Keep her that one. Hold that one. Remove your shoe. Remove your shoe. Just walk. Walk with that 
that you are working still. Work with it. Work. Say, as I'm working, say, as I'm working, give a mind, as I'm working, continue to work. I'm working. Say, as I'm working, I'm working. I'm working. My hip is restored. I'm restored. My hip is restored. My hip is restored in the name of Jesus Christ. My hips are restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, say I walk every day without a walking head. I will walk freely without a walking stick in Jesus. Because Jesus Christ has purchased my freedom. Jesus mighty name. Then Jesus Christ has purchased my my freedom. In Jesus Christ I I take my freedom. He has purchased, he has bought back my freedom. Thank you for Jesus Christ has purchased my my freedom. Yes. On the cross. Continue, Continue like that. Say, continue to say that way. Say, I'm walking out of pain. I'm walking out of pain. I am walking out of pain. My hip is restored. My hip is restored. My health is restored. My health is restored. My health is restored. My health is restored. Continue, continue, say that way. My health is restored. My life is restored. My hips are restored. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Amen. Now stand. You can drop that thing. It is time for freedom. You can drop the. You can drop that one. Now you can go freely. You can drop that one. You can walk freely. Yes. Begin to say that word. You see that word is the word you say every day. I walk freely. Jesus Christ has purchased me. I walk freely. Jesus Christ has taken away my pain. My pain is over. My pain is over. My pain is over. That is the word you are going to use every day, okay? That is why I said you walk with that stick, but every day you say that prayer, that Jesus Christ, the God of Shekinah, the God of Misha, Shana Kabadinego has purchased my freedom. I walk freely. I cannot walk with a walking head because Christ has aided me to work. Lord Jesus Christ aided me to work. He made me to walk freely. He purchased me back in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay? So you continue to say that prayer and gradually you see your hip. You know what happened to your leg? One is longer than the other. Yes. One is longer than the other. This is what is happening. The one operated. The left one and the right one, they are not the same size. One is longer than the other. Yes. Okay? This is the problem you have. But don't worry, God, God has healed you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Let you, us go back to the seat. Let me talk to the young man. Go back to the young man. Mama, you are healed. Where is, where is, where is the young man? Pastor, touch that young Hello, I want you to be closer to God. I want you to be closer to God. That is the solution to your trouble. That's the solution. Okay? Be closer to God. Once you are closer, every other thing is a testimony. God will restore you. You are going to do the medicine you want to do. But draw closer to God. Draw closer to God. Because the enemy, they are after you. The enemies are after you. You know? Because the life you are living, you join those bad those groups of your friends. You join them, which is not good. I saw injection. You know what is injection? I saw them taking injection like they're putting something in their body. I saw, no, even as I'm talking to you, I saw them putting something in their body. You know? So this is this is a wrong life. It's not a good life. You don't want to live that life. But because of the kind of friends you keep, whom you think is your friends, you find yourself living that life. You find yourself living that life. It's a wrong life. You're not bent to do that. You are not brought into the world to be, to be like that. Okay? They try to lure you into something that is wrong. Okay? And you, you have a crown. You have a crown of greatness. But the enemy does not want that greatness. That's why they lure you into it. The, they want to take you to the streets. Okay? It's not about the varsity. It's about the friends you keep. You know? And that's why you dropped from school. You know, you drop from school. You go there, you meet friends, you see the life they live, you're, you're, no, that's the wrong life. Okay? Touch your chest. Touch 
Watch it, my dear. Do this way. Yes, thank you, Lord. Father, I renew his heart. I remove that heart of stone. From that heart of stone. That wicked heart. Repeat the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Repeat the name of Jesus Christ. Repeat the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Shout Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Shout Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Shout it again. Jesus Christ. But give me a new heart. Give me a new heart. Hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it. I transfer your heart. I give you a new heart, the heart of flesh. I remove that negative heart. I remove it from you here and now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you to forget about cloth. You are going to wear cloth and you get tired. Every type of cloth you want to wear, you wear it. You can, you're going to buy whatever money can buy. But I want you to make sure you draw closer to God. Then you can have the brain to go back to school. Then you can study. Then you can be what God wants you to be. Okay? You change your SIM card. You change your SIM card. Change your phone. So that those your friends will not contact you again. Change your phone. Please change your SIM card. Change your SIM card. Tell your mother. I said they should buy a new SIM card for you. Because right now you don't have money. You don't have money. I can tell you exactly what is in your pocket. You don't have. Okay? You don't have. Alright, so that's what's going to happen. How old are you? Uh, 20 years. 20 years old. You are 20, yes. So yes, oh, it is well with you. The Lord has delivered you. Okay? Thank you. You are delivered. Your life is restored. Your career is restored. Your future is restored from now. But draw yourself close to God. Draw yourself very, very close to God. Okay? Yes, sir. It is well with you. The Lord bless you. Thank Shalom. You. Amen. Everyone put their hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ.